good morning everyone Gina here and welcome back to my channel and happy Earth Day so considering today was Earth Day I thought I would go ahead and make a video and share with you guys things that I have stopped buying so this is primarily a budgeting channel how to save money channel so I thought why not share with you guys some things that I used to spend a lot of money for and I have stopped purchasing in this new year so it's a way for me to save money but also at the same time be a little bit more green as well because tons of things you can do to reuse and when you're reusing items then you're also saving money today's video is actually sponsored by grove collaborative and grove collaborative is an all natural household and beauty company so you can shop from items from cleaning products to beauty supplies to baby to sun care to teeth whitening i've actually used their um, teeth whitening product and i'm actually Actually really enjoying it um, so there are so many things that you can get you can get your paper products from Grove it is a one-stop shop free shipping tons of great stuff and they have great free gift promos so if it is your first time trying out Grove Collaborative I'll have a link below for you guys when you sign up you're going to get to get a three pack of their Grove Collaborative concentrate mixes you're so in addition to the spray bottle, you're also going to get three different concentrates. You're going to get their walnut scrubbers and you're going to get a cleaning caddy. And then you're also going to get $10 in credit after you submit your first order. So definitely check them out and you're also going to get free shipping. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So I thought it was really fitting to let you guys know that I no longer buy holiday clearance. I used to be one of those people that would go into the stores and load up on the holiday clearance the day after any holiday. So today is the day after Easter. So I would be that person that would show up at Target like before they would open and I would snag as much as possible. And there's a few reasons why I stopped doing this. One, um, I just didn't want to spend outside of my budget anymore in terms of like holiday decor for the year that's following for a few different reasons. Um, one, my kids are always into different things every single year. So I didn't want to um, purchase any more character based items because um, like I said, like Scarlett was into Vampirina at one point earlier this year and now she's kind of off of the Vampirina train. So I don't want to load up on character items for them because I have no clue what they're going to be into next year. Second, what I was finding is I would go ahead and tuck away um, things for the next season but then I would not use it. So <laughs> I didn't see a point of loading up on seasonal decor if I'm not going to use it. So yeah, I just try to eliminate any clutter anywhere I can. So bringing in more holiday stuff and just packing it in my garage, I just try to limit the space as much as possible. So I just did away with that. So I am not a holiday clearancer anymore. I've also reduced my um, paper towel purchasing by just using microfiber towels so I bought a pack of 12 microfiber towels from Home Depot last January and I am still working on the same pack so I do a ton of cleaning in my house I have three kids there are two adults we have two dogs so cleaning is like my number one hobby in the house yes I say hobby because I find myself doing it all the time and with Grove Collaborative and all of their amazing cleaning products it's really easy to turn cleaning into something that you love and it be a hobby and let me tell you it definitely definitely reduces my stress and my anxiety level. I I challenge you guys, if you were having a difficult time with your kids or your husband, maybe you got into a fight with your husband or your mom or whatever, stop what you're doing and start cleaning something. I'm telling you, it is the best way to like regroup your mind because you focus on something else like cleaning your counters or cleaning out a drawer and you are going to distract yourself from what made you stressed out or for what made you upset and you're going to trick your mind into thinking that you're happy because you're going to feel so accomplished after you're done cleaning that counter or when your kitchen looks spick and span, it's going to change your mindset. I promise you. So try that little tip. Uh, but yeah, I started purchasing microfiber towels and I just pop these in the wash about every two days and um, I have a fresh set of towels to go ahead and clean up with. So I absolutely love these. So something that I actually got from the Grove Collaborative website is this microfiber duster. So I use this to dust my blinds. Well, I use it 
anywhere that my home needs dusting and you can pop this guy into the washing machine as well so I've done away with purchasing um, swifter um, little dust pads I've done away with um, using actual like dusting um, liquid I don't use like the uh, what is it called I don't even know what the brand is called pledge I don't use pledge anymore I just dust with this guy and then I pop it into the washer and I reuse 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 something else that I've done away with is use is purchasing Ziploc bags so I purchased a set from Grove Collaborative and I actually was gifted a set from Nicole Burgess last year for my baby shower and Grove Collaborative has come out with their they've had these for a while uh, but they are reusable Ziploc bags so I am always carrying snacks for the kids in my purse I am always using Ziploc bags for like formula I use these for dirty diapers when I'm out and about for like blowouts like I have a specific bag that's just meant for diapers um, so I have cut away with using Ziploc bags and I have just gone reusable it's really easy to clean them as well all you do is add a little bit of dish soap in here and rinse it out and then your bags are good to go so if you're someone who takes a lunch every day if you're packing lunches for kids switch to the reusable because you're gonna save on having to purchase the bags and uh, you're not gonna be throwing away all the plastic bags so Yes, so I'm currently using one of these actually in my um, utensil drawer because I have a peeler that didn't come with a little like cap lid. So I've actually been using a Ziploc bag so that when we're digging in the drawer, we're not gonna get cut by the, um, the blade on the, so we don't get cut by the blade on the um, peeler. So I've been using this for, um, you know, so I don't cut my hands up too. Um, so something else that I actually found on Amazon um, are these reusable um, makeup pad removers. So it's from the brand, um, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's spelled T-A-N-U-M-I. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link below if you guys wanna check them out. But they are reusable um, makeup remover pads. So I just go ahead and add my um, my cellar water on here and then I'll go ahead and remove my makeup. Um, and then you just go ahead and gently wash these, like hand wash these with some um, mild detergent and then you just lay them out and dry them off. So now I no longer need to buy um, cotton pads and they come with 12 in a box. So you can, you know, go through a week and a half and then you can just go ahead and wash them all at one time and then you have a new set for another week and a half. So I've really been enjoying these and they are so soft too. Like when you're rubbing your makeup away, you don't get that like gritty feeling from the cotton balls or the cotton swabs or anything like that. So I have really been enjoying these reusable um, makeup pads from, again, the company is spelled T-A-N-U-M-I. So I have really been enjoying my purchase of those. So something else that we've done away with purchasing is bottled water. So instead of buying uh, cases of water like I used to, I just use a Brita water filter. I actually use the Up and Up brand um, water filter and we just replace the water filters um, from Target. And it's like 10 bucks to replace a water filter. So I no longer buy cases and cases of water. Even if I see a good deal on one, I will just go ahead and pass it because we are just a Brita water filter family now. With the exception, I do have a few cases of water in our garage because you should always have emergency water, emergency canned food, batteries, all of that stuff. You should have your emergency kit in your um, garage or your basement um, in case of disasters like, you know, flooding or um, earthquakes, fires, all sorts of stuff, blizzards. I'm sure if you live in, you know, the Midwest or somewhere where it's super cold, you probably have all of your emergency goods. Over here in Southern California, the only thing we really need to worry about is earthquakes and um, fires. So that's about it over here. We don't really get extreme weather other than just really hot fire condition weather. So, um, so yeah, if you don't have some water in your garage for an emergency, go and get some definitely. So something else that I've actually stopped purchasing is designer handbags. I used to be a big person that would purchase designer handbags. I was one with like Michael Kors. I loved Coach. I loved Dooney and Burke. I loved Kate Spade. I would spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on designer handbags. And um, I stopped doing it because I don't know if it's because I just got older or I valued money a little bit more, but I just could not spend $400 on a Kate Spade purse when I could get one that is equally the same in terms of the functionality of it for like 60 bucks at Nordstrom. Like I could no longer justify it. So uh, yeah, I've done away with purchasing designer handbags because another thing I was asking myself, why am I buying designer handbags? Why am I buying designer clothes? Am I buying it for myself 
or am I buying it because I want other people to think that, you know, I have all this money and I can afford Kate Spade and Dooney and Burke and all of this stuff. I had to ask myself, like, why am I doing it? Is it for social acceptance or because I actually like the product? So um, in terms of my handbag, I buy what I know is going to be sustainable, what's going to be durable. I don't like to have labels all over my bags because I don't want someone to take a look at me and um, judge me based on what I'm wearing or what I'm carrying. So I stopped buying designer handbags. And, um, you know, if you're someone who likes to buy designer handbags, that to each their own. If you want to spend your money on that, that is totally up to you. Um, but this is just something that I've just done away with buying and I am not sad about it. I'm, I'm good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video in terms of what I have stopped buying and how it has saved me money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it so I know you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. So comment below if you guys have stopped purchasing a particular item and if it saved you a lot of money. So again, I will have a link to Grove Collaborative. If you are a first time customer, you're going to get that free gift set. So it's going to come with the um, three pack of Grove Collaborative concentrates as well as the glass spray bottle. You're also going to get the walnut scrubbers and the cleaning caddy for free and you're going to get a ten dollar credit after you make your first order so i will talk to you guys all later bye